Have you ever wondered how closely linked the First and Second World Wars truly were? These two monumental events in human history, often viewed in isolation, were in fact deeply intertwined. A continuum of conflict rather than separate isolated occurrences. Picture this, the world stage at the dawn of the 20th century, a landscape forever altered by the Great War, World War I. The peace that followed was mere respite, a pause in the tumult rather than a resolution. The echoes of this conflict resounded, shaping the very fabric of the world that was to come. Then imagine the aftermath, the Treaty of Versailles, a document intended to ensure peace, but instead laying the groundwork for another devastating conflict. The seeds of the Second World War were sown in the very efforts to avoid it. As we journey through time, let's unravel the intricate web of events that connect these two global conflicts. The year is 1914, and the world is on the brink of a conflict unlike any seen before. The spark that lights the fuse is the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. A single bullet fired by a Serbian nationalist in the streets of Sarajevo sends shockwaves across continents. The world watches in stunned silence as the dominoes begin to fall. In the wake of the assassination, alliances form quickly, like a complex web spun across the globe. Powerhouses like Germany, Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire, known as the Central Powers, stand on one side. On the other, the Allies, France, Russia and Great Britain, later joined by Italy and the United States. These alliances meant to maintain a balance of power instead become the kindling that fuels the flame of war. The initial battles are fierce and bloody. The German forces sweep through Belgium and push deep into France, hoping for a swift victory. But the French, along with their British allies, stand their ground at the Battle of the Marne. It's a desperate struggle, with both sides digging in literally. Thus begins the infamous trench warfare a brutal and grueling stalemate that will characterize much of the Great War. Meanwhile, in the East, Russian forces clash with German and Austro-Hungarian troops. It's a different kind of war here, vast and mobile, but no less devastating. The Russian juggernaut, though slow to mobilize, proves a formidable foe. And so, the stage is set, the players are in place. A war unlike any other has begun, a war that will span four long years and claim millions of lives. The world as it was known is about to be irrevocably changed. The war to end all wars, they called it. But little did they know, it was just the beginning. As the world still reeled from the aftermath of the Great War, the stage was being set for an even more devastating conflict. The Treaty of Versailles, signed in 1919, was intended to ensure peace after the carnage of World War I. However, it inadvertently sowed the seeds for a conflict that would eclipse the horrors of the Great War. The treaty called for disarmament, territorial adjustments and reparations, but its punitive nature, particularly towards Germany, led to resentment and discontent. Germany, burdened by the weight of war guilt and crippling economic reparations, was a nation seething with resentment. The conditions were ripe for the rise of a charismatic leader who could harness this discontent and channel it towards a singular destructive purpose. Enter Adolf Hitler and the National Socialist German Workers' Party, better known as the Nazi Party. Hitler, a decorated veteran of World War I, was a charismatic speaker who tapped into the anger and humiliation felt by many Germans. He promised to restore Germany's honor, to tear up the Treaty of Versailles, and to build a powerful, self-sufficient nation. Germans, desperate for change, responded to his message. By 1933, Hitler had maneuvered his way to become chancellor and then dictator of Germany. He began to rebuild Germany's military might in direct violation of the Treaty of Versailles. He reoccupied the Rhineland and annexed Austria while the world watched, wary, but largely inactive. The rise of Hitler and the Nazi Party was not the only factor that would lead to World War II. A global economic depression, the failure of the League of Nations to maintain peace, and the aggressive expansionist policies of Japan and Italy all contributed to the brewing storm. A moment of false peace, a time of brewing unrest, the world was on the precipice of another war. 1939, a familiar darkness descends upon the world, as nations are once again plunged into the throes of war. As the echoes of the Great War still lingered, a new conflict ignited, fanning the flames of old resentments and new ambitions. The Second World War, as it would come to be known, was triggered by the invasion of Poland by Germany. An act of aggression that was a clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles, the very pact meant to prevent such a war from happening again. This was not a solitary act. 
Germany was part of the Axis powers, a coalition of nations led by the ambitious and ruthless leaders of Germany, Italy and Japan. They sought to reshape the world in their image, driven by ideologies of racial and national superiority. Their path of conquest would lead to some of the most devastating battles in human history. From the icy forests of the Eastern Front, to the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, the world was once again a battlefield. The Siege of Leningrad, the Battle of Stalingrad, the Battle of Midway, each a testament to the brutal lengths nations were willing to go to for victory. The spirit of camaraderie and the will to resist were tested to their limits, as the world watched in dread and anticipation. On the other side were the Allied Powers, an alliance of nations committed to stopping the Axis's march of aggression. The United States, the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union and China, along with many others, joined forces in an unprecedented show of unity. They shared a common goal, to ensure the survival of democracy and freedom, the very values under threat by the Axis powers. As the world grappled with this new war, it became clear that the stakes were higher than ever before. The advancements in technology, the scale of the conflict, and the sheer number of lives at risk, made the Second World War a conflict unlike any other. A world at war once more, the stakes higher than ever before. Two wars, millions of lives lost, but what truly differentiates these two global conflicts? The First and Second World Wars, while similar in their global reach and devastating impact, held stark differences in the methods of warfare, strategies employed and their respective global consequences. When we examine the technology of warfare, World War I was a war of trenches and slow, grueling combat. The introduction of tanks, machine guns and chemical weapons fundamentally altered the nature of warfare, creating a conflict of attrition and stalemates. In contrast, World War II saw the rapid evolution of technology, with aircraft carriers, jet engines and ultimately the atomic bomb transforming the battlefield into a global theater of war. Strategically, the First World War was primarily a war of defense, with both sides dug in, waiting for the opponent to make a move. The second, however, was a war of movement. Blitzkrieg tactics, island hopping in the Pacific, and strategic bombing campaigns characterized the rapid, fluid nature of World War II. The global impact of these wars also varied significantly. World War I, while devastating, was largely confined to Europe and the Middle East. The aftermath saw the reshaping of borders and the creation of new nations, but the war's impact was relatively localized. World War II, on the other hand, was a truly global conflict, involving nations from every continent. Its aftermath led to a complete realignment of world power, with the emergence of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers. The human cost, however, was a tragic constant. Both wars resulted in the loss of millions of lives, forever altering generations, and leaving a lasting scar on humanity's collective memory. In conclusion, while both world wars were global conflicts that shaped the 20th century, their differences in warfare technology, strategies and global impact, set them apart. Each war left an indelible mark on our world, influencing the course of history and shaping the world as we know it today. Two wars, each unique in its devastation, forever intertwined in the annals of history. Wars end, but their echoes reverberate through time. The two world wars left an indelible mark on the fabric of human history, shaping the contours of the 20th century and beyond. Following the horrors of these cataclysms, nations united under the banner of the United Nations, a testament to humanity's desire for peace, no matter how elusive. Yet the ashes of war ignited new conflicts, giving birth to the Cold War, a silent battle of ideologies fought not on the fields but in the minds and hearts of people. The world's power dynamics underwent a seismic shift as nations rose and fell, forever altering the geopolitical landscape. The world wars were not just events of the past, they are a part of our present, their echoes still audible in our times. As we remember these cataclysmic events we must strive to learn from history, for in its pages lie the keys to our future.